Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Mildra, and I am your Gaming Monk for the evening. This is day 27 of the RPG A Day 2019 challenge. Today's word is suspense. Now, a few days ago, I had talked about horror RPGs, so bringing that back up now would seem a bit um, ill fitting. So instead, I'd like to talk about games that set up an atmosphere of that kind of dread without actively being horror games. One that can certainly have some horror elements, and in fact is, is slightly built into that, that I want to bring up, is Eclipse Phase. Which is an interesting little gem in the fact that it is relying on the open... Instead of using something like the open gaming license or a similar effect, it is using the Creative Commons license with the idea that they want people to make their own custom hacks of the game. It's certainly a unique approach. Eclipse Phase is a, transhum is a transhumanist horror game, and while I said I was going to dial back on horror, the horror in Eclipse Phase is not the outright creature features that you would see in, say, Chill. Not that there's anything wrong with Chill, that is. It's more that the horror is um, is either is either subdued or bizarre, especially when you consider that this is a setting where everything went to hell due to a mimetic virus. Now I have not looked deeply into second edition yet. In fact, I'm not sure if it's even out yet. But I've had a lot of fond memories when it comes to first edition, especially regarding how it handles gate crashing. But the thing about Eclipse Phase's style of um, of scary is that it puts a lot more emphasis on the atmosphere of unease instead of on how horrifying the monster is. Although there's plenty of monsters that are going to be plenty horrifying in the game. And like I said with the whole mimetic virus thing, a lot of the encounters can have a more esoteric approach. Especially since once things go wrong, you may not end up surviving and have to go into a new sleeve. Because that's the other thing that it likes to do is the idea that you're uploading consciousness into one, into one or several bodies. And when one dies, you just go to the next backup. And you will die. Horribly. But beyond that, creating good suspense in an RPG is not all that difficult. It is more about establishing the wrong factor to me, as well as establishing something that I remember Derek Alexander talking about in his review of D. The idea that you are in a place that you don't want to be, that you know you shouldn't be, and yet you're going in there anyways. That kind of atmosphere, which um, increases the tension, is going to be alleviated once the monster actually reveals itself. Or at least reveals itself partially. Then, of course, you have the rising and falling. But it's the keeping of that rising and falling that is always going to be the tricky part. And for me personally, it's the reason I haven't run a whole lot of horror games. Because I have a bunch of players who are very, who are very riffable and very snarky. So it would be tricky to, um, hand, to handle that kind of tension consistently. I can certainly do it, I just have to do it with a different approach. 